Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. Today, guys, we are gonna be doing something for a customer. Um, I've got a job coming in uh, and it's for, they've had a little bit of a front end collision and uh, they want me to sort of just do a little bit of repair on it and then they're having the car wrapped. So uh, yeah, a little bit different today. We've got to do a little, do the repair, do the filler, do all the you know bits and pieces, try and make it um, look presentable. He just wants it repaired and then yeah he can then get it all wrapped up and redone so i'll explain what's going on let's bring the car in i'll show you what we've got doing with today um let's do this guys right guys this is it let me show you what we're dealing with to, in today's um little project so as you can see it's a fiesta that's been completely wrapped in the company logo, lettering, um, you know, all the, all the good stuff that they do when it comes to wrapping cars. Um, yeah, it's just a promotional uh, vehicle for the company. See, it's even wrapped the roof, look, on top of the roof there. <laughs> so, yeah, and it's got obviously, you know, all these little bits and pieces. I'm not sure if it's a ZTEC S, this one, or it's just a basic Fiesta and they've added some splitters and spoilers i think it's got the r the st body kit all round um and they've yeah they've really made it look a bit sportier um to promote their company but you can see yeah it's been completely wrapped so the the issue that he's got in a minute is that he's got front damage to the bumper um and he doesn't really want to go down the route of buying another bumper he said like you know could you sort of repair it for me and then he's going to have it rewrapped completely the front the front bumper completely rewrapped kind of thing um so so yeah so you can see that we've got damage here on the bumper he's had a i think is it a war or is it something he did tell me what he, what happened but um basically what we've got to do we've got to push that back as well we've got to see you know why that what if there's any damage behind the bumper as well just have a look at it report back to him if i find anything behind um, but he'd be definitely watching uh, the video in, in tonight. Don't you worry about that. He's watching it with you guys. Uh, so basically what I've got to do is we've got to try and repair, the, obviously, the cracked and the split from the other side. So the, bump, the whole bumper's got to come completely off. So, you know, that in itself is a good strip down. We've got to take the wheels off, take the wheel, wheel arch liners out. Um might take the headlights out, be easy to get to the bolts for the for the bumper as well. So, yeah, we've got a, a bit of a strip down to do to get to this bumper off so we can repair it from the other side and this side. I'm not just going to repair it on this side. Um, I'm going to like, hot staple um, the plastic back together and then we're going to sort of put a bit of filler over on the outside, rub it down, and then he's having the whole bumper completely rewrapped on the as it was original you know there is some damage over here but i think that's just oh no you have he has got a crack here no nope. <laughs> he's got some damage so what we're going to do is we're going to cut away cut away a section around the damaged area so it's so we're getting we're going back to the original bumper which i think is white but we will we'll see that in a bit and or is it black i oh, know it might be black yeah, I think it's black. And then um, we're going to repair it back onto the original bumper so that when he has it re-wrapped, um, re you shouldn't see much of a scar. You might see a little bit, but it won't be... It shouldn't, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be that bad. But yeah, that's the damage anyway on both sides of this bumper. So we're going to have to get it stripped down. Has he got a locking wheel nut? Yeah, he has. I'm gonna have to hope, hopefully the key's in there. <laughs> hopefully it's in the glove box. But um, but yeah, that's what we're dealing with, guys. So let's get let's let's set you up on the tripod. Let's start stripping this down, um, getting the bumper off, getting it repaired, and um, spending you know a few hours getting this done for him. So let's crack on. Let's do this. Thank you. 
Right, okay guys, let me give you an update. That did not go well. <laughs> As you can see, the bumper is still in place. Um, there's two bowls. Trust me, ain't ain't for me trying. I tell you, I've been I've been trying to get this off. Um, there's three bolts that hold the bumper to the wing on each side. Managed to get the top one out, the bolt, but the two that are down a little bit further on both sides are completely rusted. And there's just no way, um, <laughs> there's just no way I'm getting them out without actually doing any sort of damage to um, to something. But yeah, what an absolute joke. Probably the worst, probably the worst bolts I've had, had to take off of Fiesta. I've, ne I've never seen them this bad. They're so bad when it comes to rust. So I'm going to have to do this from this side. So what we're going to do is we're going to sort of cut around this um get get that um the wrap off around this area right back here do the actual um the weld from the outside and then we'll have to do the um the filler as well from this side i wanted to do both sides but i just it just it just ain't coming out and i just think it's for what it is um and it's gonna get wrapped i'm just not gonna i don't want to do any more because the only way to get this out now is to start banging it around, trying to get a grinder in there, trying to... It's just, yeah. <laughs> it's just, just not... Um, it's just not going to happen. So I think if it was if it was my own car and I had a project and, you know, I needed to take the bumper off, I would have done it. And then I would have sorted out the damage further on. But because he's only paying me to do the repair to the bumper... Yeah, it just makes sense not to, to, to cause any damage um, that I've got to put right because I don't feel like it should be his um, uh, cost because he's not he didn't pay me originally or didn't quote me originally for doing that part, part of it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it from the outside. Um, you're going to see what I'm doing. So let's just, yeah, let's just get cracking. Let's get this the, the wrap off. Um, I'll get the heat gun on it as well and uh he's gonna um yeah he's gonna get it all wrapped anyway i think that's part of the wrap yeah that is that is that is a wrap as well i thought that might have been the original color there look but it's black but uh paint for black uh but it's not that's that's actual wrap as well so we're gonna yeah i'm gonna take it take it as much as i can off around here and then he's gonna get he's gonna he's, he's gonna get it all they're gonna someone's gonna peel it all back anyway and get it all stripped it doesn't matter how much i take off because it's all coming off anyway so yeah, that's the plan guys. Let's get going and let's do this. Right, okay guys, so I've just cleared the area that we need to get to. Um, it ain't that bad, I've got a, this one ain't isn't that bad at all. Look, it's just these, these hot staples going across here. Get them in, and then some filler, and then sanding. And then that's that one done. This one's a bit more involved, but again, hot staples all the way across where the cracks are here, here, there. I've pushed this one back as well. Hot staples, bit of filler, bit of filler, rub it down, and then put the car back together for him. <laughs> Took all the lights off and everything for, the, for no reason. But I really wanted to get from to be, from behind the bumper to do the hot staples as well. But it's just, yeah, they're so rusty in bolts. There's just no way it's going to happen. So, yeah, next thing, guys, hot staples and then uh, the filler. So let's keep going. Let's get this done. Let's do this.
Right, okay guys, so yeah, as you can see, it's a little bit like patchwork quilt. <laughs> I've got to be honest, but it is so strong. Really, really strong now. So all I've got to do is, um, the thing is when you, when you, whenever you're using like something like this is that you can, you, if you push too hard, um, it heats and goes straight through the bumper. I've done it a couple of times when I first started doing this. Um, but uh, yeah, you've really got to be careful. You don't go right through because it can it can heat heat up. You've got to be really sort of, yeah, you've got to really be careful. Um, and so now what we do <clears throat> is we put this plate thing on top of this like this. And then and then you press the button, heat, heat it up. And it, it just sort of, it, it kind of, let me just do it, I'll show you. Um, so it kind of, when you're doing that, it you're just closing, you're closing the, the plastic there, look. So this needs to get done on all of them. Um, <clears throat> and all that does, it just, let me just spin that around quickly. It, um, yeah, you're, you're moving the plastic around the hole to fill it. Before you do any filling, you do this. Um, <clears throat> and then once we've done that, then we can snap these off like that. See that, it just snapped. So you just, you just get it and you just, and it just snaps off. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so we'll just keep go, keep doing this, and then it, it needs rubbing down, sanding back, then filler, then sanding again, getting it flat. Um, but yeah, this is kind of, you know, I wouldn't have done <clears throat> if it was me. If it was, if I was repairing this car, I probably would have replaced a bumper. I wouldn't have um, tried to do it really. I've got to be honest because it was. Don't get me wrong. It wasn't cracked right. If it was cracked right through, it's, a, it's definitely a no no. But this wasn't, I suppose. But um, I always try to do it from the other side because it doesn't look, um, yeah, it doesn't look as bad. But because he's having this wrap put over it, it don't really matter, does it? And, and he said that as well. He said he's happy to do it this way. So, yeah, <clears throat> right. I'm going to set you up. Let's get that done. Get it all pinged off. Um, and then, yeah, we can get a bit of filler on it. And uh, it's pretty easy. Like, you just they just snap straight off like that. Like that. So then we'll get the flat plate, get it all flatter. Um, so, sorry, I've, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like it's like missing. The zigzag's missing. So we just got to plate it, heat it up, and sort of you know get the plastic moving around so that it's flatter. So let's do that, and then a bit of rubbing down, then a bit of filler, um, and I'll come back to you and show you once we've done that. So let's keep going. But yeah, so far so good. Let's do this.
Right, okay, guys. So that is the filler over the actual patch repair. Um, and uh, we're going to leave that to dry, obviously. And then once it's dried, we'll give it a rub down, flat it off. Um, and that's kind of going to be it, really. Um, <laughs> we just need to put the car back together, put all the lights back in, put all the bumper clips and brackets and screws and bolts and just do it all back up, really. Um, this is the plastic bumper filler that I use for that. Um, and it's like I've got this black. So, yeah, that's what I use for the, pla the, the actual plastic bumpers or anything plastic, really. And it goes off pretty quick and pretty, um, pretty solid. So, whilst that's going off and drying, let's put everything back together because we can now. Nothing's going to really sort of get in our way. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's put it all back together. Put all the wheels back on, uh, wheel arches, every, everything, all the lights. Let's get, let's get it all back together, and then all that's left to do is rub down the filler, and then that 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 that's it. We should be done. So, but let's continue, guys. Let's crack on um, and get this done. But so far, so good. That's kind of exactly what you wanted done. So, and it's pretty solid um, with those metal um, metal brackets, metal. Uh, um staples sorry i'm just thinking of other things while i'm talking to you as, as per usual right anyway let me see you up let's keep going let's do this Right, okay, there we go, guys. So, it has all been rubbed down. Um, yeah, it's, it's all smooth. There's no gaps, there's no lines. I can't feel no like, edges to the actual filler at all. So, uh, that's what I was doing. I I, I could have used a block. I know there's going to be a lot of you saying, why don't you put it on a block? And you could have, you know, the trouble is with doing that is that I've already like made little scratches around the areas, which I, I don't want to go too far with the scratches. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, because that's why I did it by hand. The reason for that is because I really don't know. Um, he's having the whole bumper rewrapped, right? So what I'd like to have done, and I've got to speak to him about this, and he's got to speak to the wrapping people, the company, to see how far we take this. What I mean by that is that like really, um, this you know we should peel this right back, tape it all off, tape it all off, and then repaint um, the areas that I've done. So primer, and then base coat, and then lacquer on the bumper. Um, I've got to be honest. After doing this and this, he should have had a respray completely. But he's not interested in that. All he wants it to do is to do this repair and then get it wrapped. But what I'm trying to get at, guys, is that. If I start spraying this with primer and base coat and lacquer, will the 
the actual um, the wrap, will that stick to it <laughs> or will it start bubbling up in the places that I've done the repair and, and stick to the, to the actual, you know, I, I, just, I just don't know. So I'm going to leave it like this and then I'm going to speak to him and say, can you speak to the rappers who's doing it? How far can we take this or do they just want us to leave it like this and they'll wrap it straight over as it is? Because at the end of the day, the repair's done and it's filled and it's flat and it's exactly how it should be. But it just needs painting, really. In my, in my opinion, it's getting covered, but I still would like it to be painted. <laughs> you know me, guys. I just go a little bit, yeah, a little bit too far. But it's just, it's just I don't know when it comes to wrapping. I've never done it before. So that is, uh, that is something that we, we may get into at some point in this journey who knows <laughs> we, we, we might get into that as well um but yeah so anyway guys for now we are done with this car um we might see it again but very much i very very doubt if we do but we'll just see how see how we go um so yeah guys that is going to be the end of today's video i hope you enjoyed uh, me repairing this bumper it was something i wanted to show because it's my it's what I do on a daily basis now. It's bits and pieces. So I want to show it on a daily basis if I can. So there we go. Another one, another little job done. And um, yeah, hopefully a happy customer. So that's it. Guys, thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you soon.